I hope all of you are doing well today. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you options that you can consider if you have difficulty paying back your student loans. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I recommend that you do is contact your loan service provider. During this time, you can take the opportunity to let them know why you can't pay your student loans back and what your options are. Another option for you to consider is if you can get a deferment on your loan. During a deferment, interest does not accrue on some types of loans. You might be able to receive a student loan deferment if you are undergoing cancer treatment, if you are experiencing economic hardship, if you are in a graduate fellowship program, if you are enrolled in school at least half time, if you are performing qualifying military service, if you are a post active duty service member, if you are a parent plus borrower with a student enrolled in school, if you are enrolled in a, re in a rehabilitation training program, or if you are unemployed. Now, you must be eligible to receive a deferment and usually you do have to submit documentation to qualify for one. Just to let you know, if you're enrolled in an eligible college or career school at least half time, in most cases, your loan will be put into a deferment automatically. During this time, you have the option to opt out of an automatic in-school deferment if you would prefer continuing making payments. Another option to look into is getting a forbearance. With a forbearance, the interest will accrue on the loan. You might be able to get a student loan forbearance if you are experiencing financial difficulties such as medical expenses or changes in your income, if you are serving in AmeriCorps, if you're performing service that will qualify you for partial loan forgiveness through the U.S. Department of Defense, if you are working in a medical or dental internship or residency, if you are serving in the National Guard, if you have student loan payments that are high in relation to your income, or if you are working as a teacher to qualify for teacher loan forgiveness. Now you do have to be eligible to receive a forbearance and please keep in mind that you also have to submit documentation to apply for one. If you are unable to repay your student loan for any reason, I recommend that you check out these options. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press that subscribe button below this video. That way, when I put out content in the future, you won't miss out on any of it. So please remember to subscribe. As always, I wanna thank you for watching. I wanna thank you for listening. I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day.